one half of life is luck, whilst the other half is discipline. And that's the most important half, for without discipline, you wouldn't know what to do with luck. So an act, and you reap a habit. So a habit, and you reap a character. So a character, and you reap a destiny. All men have bad luck and good luck. The man who persists through the bad luck, who keeps right on going, is the man who is there when good luck comes and is ready to receive it. My son, the next time you feel like you don't have any luck, remember, keep going step by step with enthusiasm, discipline, and persistence, and you will find luck. Just like a nail is driven out by another nail, so is a habit overcome by habit. Chains of habit are too light to be felt until they are too heavy to be broken. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you? Sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. One who is disciplined by others is blessed, but he who disciplines himself is greater still. For the mind that is set on fulfilling the desires of the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. The reality is this. Self-discipline removes many of the self-created obstacles that stand between you and the level of success and achievement that you both crave and deserve. And so, rather than it being self-sacrificing, self-discipline is actually self-promoting. Motivation is what gets you started, but habit and discipline is what keeps you going. My son, discipline will take courage and perseverance, but it will pay off. The fact is, discipline is only punishment when imposed on you by someone else. When you discipline yourself, it's not punishment, but rather empowerment. My son, if you want, to change your habits, then listen closely. To change the habit, simply make a conscious decision. Then, act out the new behavior. And remember, never look back. Leaders are rarely born. Rather, they are made. Persistence and circumstance play a bigger role in developing a great leader than initial circumstances ever will. And so, never forget, it is your discipline that you must work on. Let it be woven within your personality. The best sort of character cannot be formed Without effort, there needs the exercise of constant self-watchfulness, self-discipline, and above all, self-control. When you have strong self-discipline, only then will you be prepared 
to overcome any kind of obstacles that you might encounter on your journey towards creating good habits. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit repeated over and over and over again. A disciplined mind leads to happiness, but an undisciplined mind leads to suffering. Men are creatures of habit. If you quit, when things get tough, it gets that much easier to quit the next time. Rather, if you force yourself to push through it, the grit begins to grow in you. Once you learn to quit, it becomes a habit. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each one of you know how to control his own body in holiness and honor, not in passion and lust, like the Gentiles who do not no God. Self-denial and self-discipline are the two pillars that maketh a man. Choose the life that is most useful, and habit will make it the most agreeable. Man is largely a creature of habit, and many of his activities are more or less automatic reflexes from the stimuli of his environment. My son discipline your habits by building the right environment. Habit is a cable. We weave a thread of it each day and at last it becomes unbreakable. Stop the habit of wishful thinking and start the habit of thoughtful wishes. Moral excellence comes about as a result of habit. We become just by doing just acts, tempered by doing temperate acts, and brave by doing brave acts. Your environments and settings matter. Set yourself up in an environment that encourages the building of self-discipline, not one that sabotages herself. Happiness is dependent on self-discipline. You are the biggest obstacle to your own happiness. It is much easier to battle with society and with others than to fight your own nature. Habit is the intersection of knowledge, skill, and desire. Just because you're struggling with self-discipline doesn't mean that you have to raise the white flag and declare your self-improvement efforts a complete failure. Instead, work to increase the chances that you'll stick healthier habits, even when you don't feel like it. If you live by the Spirit, then you ought to walk by the Spirit. Winning is not a sometime thing. It's an all-the-time thing. You don't win once in a while. You don't do things right once in a while. You do them right all the time. Winning is a habit. The moment you feel yourself hesitate on something you know, count five, four, three, two, one, to activate your prefrontal cortex 
and interrupt the habit of overthinking, self-doubt, and fear. The truth won't set you free until you first develop the skills, the habits, and the talent, and the moral courage to use it. Want to know the secret of successful people? Successful, effective people are those who launch directly into their major tasks and then discipline themselves to work steadily and single-mindedly until those tasks are complete. Period. The undisciplined man falls into the same category as the lazy person who allows circumstances to control him rather than controlling his circumstances. Once you understand that habits can change, you then have the freedom and the responsibility to remake them. To put it simply, if you want to direct your life, you must first take control of your consistent actions. It's not what you do once in a while that shapes your life, but rather what you do consistently. My son, men are creatures of habits. Realize this and let today be the day that you give up who you have been for who you can become.